I'm Corey Duke in today for Justin Fisher. Here's a look at some of today's top stories from 2 News Oklahoma. Mayor G.T. Bynum wants to take a harder approach to address homelessness in Tulsa. He's proposing an amended ordinance that would allow police officers to remove anyone blocking sidewalks and public right of ways to help address homeless campsites around the city. Mayor Bynum presented the amended ordinance proposal at a committee meeting on Wednesday. He says in the last 18 months, the city spent over $13 million on housing and homelessness assistance for outreach, shelter support, along with many other things. Well, some councilors question the proposed changes. Mayor Bynum says four years ago, Tulsa police asked him to consider amending a city ordinance that would allow them to remove the homeless from certain areas, but he delayed it because he wanted to make sure the city was providing housing alternatives. But now that the city has done that, he's comfortable moving forward. We are doing more than we ever have, uh, it, I think, as a city government to support uh, uh, homeless outreach and housing. And that is why I feel much more comfortable now bringing this forward because folks do have an alternative and for people to get the help they need, they aren't going to get it sleeping on a sidewalk. They're going to get it in a shelter, uh, which many of which we are funding now. We reached out to Housing Solutions for a response to the mayor's proposed ordinance and are waiting to hear back. An Oklahoma County grand jury filed a report Thursday criticizing the actions of Governor Kevin Stitt, the members of the Pardon and Parole Board, and the Oklahoma Legislature. Soon as Oklahoma obtained the 65-page report from nondoc.com, the report singles out the commutation case of Lawrence Paul Anderson. He's the man alleged to have murdered three people after his release in January of 2021. In that report, the grand jury states that those three deaths could have been avoided. We'll continue to dig deeper into this report throughout the day on air and online. Now let's send it over to meteorologist Brandon Woolley. He's got to look at your Friday forecast. Hi, Corey. For this afternoon, we'll see decreasing showers and storms with increasing sunshine and those daytime highs into the 80s, but an increasing chance of showers and storms overnight tonight, and some of these could be strong to severe across the area.